episode, I will be modifying the diesel fuel tank. Uh, it's the one I fought long and hard to get out of the lazarette. Um, now it comes time to clean her out. So I installed not one, but two access ports. Uh, so you'll see me going through that. Um, initially I drilled holes as like a preparation so that it would be easier to use the jigsaw. Didn't even end up really needing them. So on the second one, I, I was able to, to just draw the circle and uh, cut it out. You'll see all that. Uh, and I cleaned out the crazy sludge that was inside. Um, it looked like chocolate syrup. Then uh, painted the lazarette. So um, it's a good episode Cut bringing us back to the fuel tank. This is a bit of a less frustrating side of things. Um, so happy to have that to show you as well. So I hope you like the episode and uh, give it a thumbs up if you do. And uh, thanks for all the comments and the support. Here it is. Can you tell me what you're doing? Yeah, I'm drawing the uh, circle to cut my access port for my fuel tank so I can clean it out. Got a lot of scum in it. Need to get it cleaned out. And uh, then I'm gonna fabricate a access plate that goes on top of it, which I've already ordered. Eight inch piece of aluminum. I'll drill out and then I'll tap the tank so I can thread right into it and I'll be happy. That's too big. Like. Right now I'm drawing the correct diameter for the access hole, six inch access hole. Made my little homemade compass. Now I'll drill it out, then we'll cut it and have our access hole. Gum out, nastiness, get it cleaned out, catch it on fire maybe. hole drill my fuel tank now I'll take it to the boat and uh, do a stepper bit to make a bigger hole and then cut out the circle with the jigsaw and I'll finish it off with a dremel smooth out the edges and then after my access plate comes in we'll line it up tap the holes so we can bolt it straight to the tank with a gasket and then I'll be happy ready to go back go back inside So now we're at the boat. We're going to finish cutting the access hole for the fuel tank. So got a stepper bit, start a big hole so I can get my jigsaw in and then cut around, get it all cleaned out, taken care of.
should be big enough. smaller access hole just on the other side of the intake uh, so I can clean out both sides. Um, not that big of a deal, a little annoying, but um, it's doable. The inside seems like it can clean up pretty well, so just get it done. Rubbing the inside of the tank with denatured alcohol. I've already scraped all the sludge up. I'm trying to get it happy now. Be good to go. gas tank tray um, shelf coating the wood with penetrating epoxy and then I'll paint the whole thing um, and then uh, install it 
check out the fumes in there. I'm talking about you, not the... See it smoking? Mm. Crazy, right? Wow. Almost ready to, almost ready to paint the lazarettes. Just get them all cleaned up. Just taping off this busted ass seacock right now. Um, pretty much ready. Got it all degreased. Two passes. Got, got the cell locker side, port side lazarette all cleaned up today. And uh, I'm gonna hit them both with bilge paint. Should be quick business. Preparing the sprayer to uh, spray these lazarettes. Um, some bilge coat. So, uh, let's see. On the next episode, I bring my new engine to the boat. A new to me Yanmar 2 GM20F that has been beautifully rebuilt. You'll get to see me roll her down the dock, hook her up, and fly her onto the boat, and set her down gently into her new home. Thanks for watching and thanks for all your comments. And until next time. See if you can unplug this nozzle or something. <laughs> Oh, I can't see. I don't have a white screen. What was that? How can I help you? What? How can I help you? R two D two. Hello. Welcome to the Lazarus of Hell. It's eighty five degrees out there and one hundred and fifty in here. For the love of a boat. <laughs>